Okay, let's see if we can connect to this thing and we're going to do uh, basic troubleshooting as well. So you install the app on your phone. And here's where it gets a little sketchy because they don't talk about the settings on this thing. So this little blue, it's going to be difficult to see, but um, the Smart Drive MX2 app, if we turn this on, it's going to go through the usual thing for an MX2 Plus. And you see we have a full, not quite a full charge, but um, this gives my watch charge. And then this is the way you turn it on and off. So gives you confirmation. And if it's showing blue, it means it has Bluetooth connection. This will give you the battery indicator on the uh, MX2 Plus. This is your this is your watch battery. Now, if you have any trouble with the thing, it took me a while to find this. But um, if you go to settings, you can adjust all of this stuff. So, like your max speed, wearable max speed. Um, we can take that and adjust it. I had it down at 30% just for testing. I'm gonna run it up to 100%. Um, wired speed, if you happen to be using it, um, we're gonna turn that wide open because we might as well try it out. Acceleration, I had set at 50%. I'm gonna crank that up because we're in the open. So I'm gonna run at 70%. Uh, tap sensitivity, it, it's a default is 70%. It seems to work fine. And then I leave the beep assistant on and we're in MX2 plus mode. There is a mode for uh, MX1 and MX2. I haven't tried those. And then Imperial or metric units. And we want it on latched mode. So the latched mode um, will start and um, as soon as I double tap, and then when I single tap, it'll set the speed. So let's get back into the apps. We're gonna scroll up to our Smart Drive app. We're gonna go back, sorry I did that. Um, we're gonna cancel out of the settings. We're gonna go back into here, and the wireless updates run this the first time you connect your watch and it does two separate updates so what it's going to do is update the computer first the top two leds will flash while it's doing that and you have to keep the watch awake so either set your watch or you're just going to have to bump it every once in a while while it's doing the updates because it'll give you a little progress going around but uh it it won't upload anything while you're doing it. It takes about five minutes to do the computer. And then uh, it'll also update the Bluetooth module if that one's outdated. Um, so it does two different downloads back to back and just the top two LEDs will be out during that. So if you're trying to connect your watch and, and having issues, um, go into there and then look for errors from your from your smart drive. You can hit that as well. Uh, right now, it's telling me that we do have errors in here, but it's the gyro range because we haven't we haven't moved anything yet. And also, this will not work unless the, like I said on some of the other videos, the unit won't work unless it's uh, in the incline position, like a it would normally be mounted on the chair, and then. Uh, when you double tap, it'll it'll take off, and once that set point is established, if the if the unit moves up seven and a half degrees or down seven and a half degrees, it will um, uh, shut the unit off. And if you're wondering what the watch is, this is just an SE. I was never a, a watch guy, so this is my first Apple Watch, and it's an SE Gen Two. Uh, so far, it's uh, synced right up. 
If we hit that, it'll give me the estimated range and um, we'll go out and try it. I'm gonna shut it off, shut it off, and try it on the chair.